You have had enough, Dr. Lang. Now you know what the enemy is. It is death. Mrs. Collins, I will not put up with this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> If they both live, what? Listen. Yes, I'm listening, listen. Eric. What? What? If they live. If they. You came at just the right time. You're Thank you. You're trying to kill him. I beg your pardon? Don't play innocent with me. What has happened now? If you kill him, I'll see that you burn. I don't understand I you. know you're doing it. Every time you see me, you accuse me. When are you going to admit who you are? I have told Roger. He is all ready to believe that you are mad. If you... Tell me. I will agree to anything. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want of me? Do you still want me? What? I will be yours if you... Cassandra. You are mad! It was easier in the past, wasn't it? Yes, even for me. What are you staring at? What is it? <laughs> Mr. Collins, uh, that phone. Uh, oh, Mrs. Johnson, I nearly fainted. If Mr. Collins hadn't been here, I don't know what I would have done. Well, I'm sorry. I hope it's nothing serious. Uh, Mr. Collins, uh, the phone is for you, Dr. Hoffman. Very important, she says. Yes, Julia. Barnabas, he's, he's dead. I, I've done all I can, but, but he's dead. Barnabas, Barnabas, what are we going to do? What? I will be there shortly, Julia. Don't go, Cassandra. I must. Not until you hear. You have killed Eric Lang. Tried to tell me something, so, something important, something he, he hadn't written down. He said, if they both live, then listen, listen. And then he, he, he lost consciousness. Oh, Barnabas, I, I, I hate this, this room, this, this experiment. It killed him as much as she did. If it hadn't been for this, this secret, he would have let me send for help. We must not be emotional about his oh. death, Julia. Every instinct, every feeling I have is to let go, to, to get revenge. But we must not. We have no time. We will not go on with the experiment. We will. And there's to be no argument about it. We will go on. I cannot. You will, Julia. Now, there are two, two problems. There's the body. He told me it had 48 hours. I'm not so sure I have that long. It is coming back, Julia. Every urge I ever had is as much here as it was since the beginning of the curse. The medicine he, he gave you, the, the formula's here. The more I take it, the less effective it is. You, you must have some now. Julia, I am not going to be a vampire again. I will not go back. I must escape, Angelique. I will not be the victim of a witch. Oh, Julia, these past few weeks of freedom have taught me what life is. Now you wouldn't let me go back to the dark. We, we will go on with the experiment. 
Tonight. I, I must study. Tomorrow. Well, I don't know when I'm ready. Soon. Yes, Barnabas, it, it will be soon. But, but I must know everything there is to know. If I do it, it must be successful. <laughs> Julia, you're learning nothing. Start again in the morning. No. No! Barnabas? Mrs. Johnson, please talk to me. Where, where, where are we? Why are you doing this? No, no, I don't want to go in there. No. Sight and sound and headless terror, through endless corridors by trial and error, a blazing head of light will burn, and one door leads to the point of return.
must be close to seven. The house will be waking soon. And, and I know who will walk through that door before anyone else does. Mrs. Johnson, just as she did in my dream. And I'll have to tell her about the dream. And then she'll have a dream and this, this curse, whatever it is, will continue. I've got to stop it. If Mrs. Johnson comes in here, I've got to stop myself from telling her. But I, I don't know if I can. I, I don't know. Go away. Don't come in. No. Come in, whoever you are. Vicky, it's you. Am I interrupting something? Oh, no, no, of course not. I thought I might be. I, I heard voices. I thought you were talking to someone. I was talking to myself. It's a bad habit. Why did you want me to go away? I, I thought you were someone else. Who? I, I'd really rather not talk about it. You're up awfully early. Yes. Are these yours? Yes. I didn't know you smoked. I I stopped for a while, but then I I went back to it. It, it seems to calm my nerves. Juliet, is something wrong? Nothing I can talk about. Is there anything I can do to help you? No. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes, this, this Professor Stokes, who came to see you about your painting. Is he an expert on the occult? Well, he seems to be. He's a strange man. Do you know how to reach him? Yes, I do. He, he left me his card and in case I ever want to sell the painting. Why? Where does he live? He lives on Arrowhead Road. It's, it's one of those small roads on the outskirts of town. Arrowhead Road. Oh, yes. Yes, I know where it is. Are you going? Yes, yes, excuse me. Dr. Hoffman, how are you? so early. I just came by to tell you that I moved into the Evans cottage and I wanted to thank you for arranging. You don't have to thank me for anything, Peter. You were about to call me Peter, weren't you? Yes, I was. I, I'm sorry. I, I know you're Jeff Clark. Sometimes I wish I weren't. Don't say that. Come on, let's go in and get some coffee. Tell me something. Did I uh, do anything to offend Julia Hoffman? Not that I know of. Why? Well, she passed me just now, and uh, she didn't say anything. It's strange. She's, well, she's usually very friendly. She was acting quite strangely this morning. I, I don't know why, but it may have had something to do with the death of Dr. Lang. <laughs> Lang's dead? You didn't know. No. He died last night. It was a heart attack. Lang. Lang's dead. It 
happened very suddenly. <sighs> can't believe it. You seem pleased. <laughs> I, I can't help it. Jeff, I know you didn't like Look, it. Look, he kept things from me. Secrets. Now I can find out everything about me. What do you mean? Well, I, I still have the key to his house. I can break into his files. I know where they are. I, I can find out everything about me, everything I need to know about myself. Is it that important? Yes, it's that important. I have to, to know who I am and, and what I am and what I've done. Vicky, look, that's all I can tell you for now, but this may be the most important day of my life. I'm sorry to intrude on you at such an early hour. Please don't apologize. I detest apologies. People so rarely mean them. Now, may I ask who you are and what you want? You're a very blunt man. No, uh, just hostile to strangers. But it's part of my nature. And you still haven't answered my question. My name is Julia Hoffman. I, I live at Collinwood. Vicki Winters said you might help me. Help you? How? I understand you have considerable knowledge of the a cult. I am interested in the supernatural, and I've managed to collect a certain amount of information on the subject. Why? Because I, I believe I'm, I'm the victim of a, of a curse. A curse? Yes, I, I should say, one of the victims, because there, there are others. Last night, I, I had a dream that, that terrified me. You believe you're under a curse because you had a nightmare? No, it's, it's, it's not that simple. You, you don't understand. Other people have had this dream. And with each person, it goes one step further. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, it all started with, with a girl named Maggie Evans. She had the dream. She dreamt about a man called Jeff Clark. And she had this terrible compulsion to to tell him about her dream and then that night he had the same dream and it went one step further and he saw someone in his dream yes he saw a man called dr lang and he was compelled to tell dr lang his dream and dr lang had the dream and, and it went st one step further uh, again and then what i i was in dr lang's dream he told me about it and I had the dream last night. Interesting. 